Multicam clips take a bunch of different angles from one scene and combine them into one special clip. This allows you to swap between cameras or audio sources without worrying about juggling multiple clips or making complicated edits. Making a good multicam clip starts on set. If you're not on a production that's running timecode, make sure that everybody sets their equipment to match the time and date on their phones. While you're setting up the cameras, make sure the video formats are all on the same settings and that white balance is consistent. Lots of people know to clap their hands in front of the cameras to make syncing easier, but using a real slate can make a big difference. My favorite slate app is called Movie Slate. It's $30 on the App Store and runs on iPhones or iPads. After you've shot your multicam scenes and brought them into Final Cut, you'll want to take a couple minutes to organize your clips. To do this in Final Cut, we use keyword collections. Keywords are like folders or bins for keeping track of your stuff. Make a keyword by right-clicking on your event and selecting New Keyword Collection. While I'm dealing with interviews, any clips that need to go into a multicam clip, get a keyword that says SYNC ME in all caps. I like it when the clips are screaming at me from the browser. It's like they need me. There are faster ways to keyword clips, but if you're new, just drag and drop them into the keyword collection we just made. After you've dug through your footage and keyworded all of the multicam pieces, dive into that keyword collection. We're going to give Final Cut some information to make the syncing process a little bit cleaner. Select one of your wide shots, then open the Inspector pane. From there, open the Info Inspector pane by clicking on the eye. In the field for Camera Name, we're going to tell Final Cut what it's looking at. In this case, it's a wide shot. Go through all of your clips for Multicam and give them this data. Giving Final Cut this information, or metadata, will help it figure out what goes where when we tell it to make a Multicam clip. Highlight all the clips you need from your first multicam shot. Right click and select New Multicam Clip. Go into Advanced Settings. Name the clip. In this case, I'm using Scott Interview MC. I like to add MC to my multicam clips so I can easily see what they are. Unless you have a good reason not to, set the starting time to all zeros. Audio for Sync. This checkbox is the magic sauce. Only deselect this if the interview was shot on professional equipment with an audio person who was syncing the timecode between the cameras. Assemble angles should be set to whatever field you filled in earlier while filling in the metadata. Clip ordering can go to Content Created, which will use the clock that we set earlier to put all the clips in the right order. Click OK and let Final Cut do some thinking. When the progress bar is gone, there will be a new clip in your browser. If you can't find it right away, search for MC. Find it in the browser and double click. Sometimes the clip is going to come out nice and neat, like this one. Sometimes it's a mess and you'll need to do some further studying. But here are the basics. Monitor the angles by clicking on these icons, picture and sound. If one of your sources has good sound, turn off the sound on the other clips and just use the good stuff. Clips can be chopped up and pushed around inside a multicam clip. You just need to be careful not to mess up the sync. If you delete a selection from one angle, make the same deletion from the other angles. By holding down the shift button while using the blade tool, you'll cut all the angles at once. Then you can select and delete them individually. The regular select tool, the arrow, won't let you move clips here. Close gaps by using the position tool. You can find this in the tool menu or by hitting P. When you are using that position tool, make sure to always move your synced clips as a group. Be careful while you edit. This is where a lot of multicam clips get messed up. There's a lot of stuff you can do inside the multicam clip, but that's the basics. Edit a multicam clip into your project just like any other clip. Mark in, mark out, put it in your timeline, chop it up, whatever. You're great at this. Go to View, Show in Viewer, Angles. This is where multicam shines. Putting your playhead over a clip in the timeline and then clicking on one of these angles is going to make a cut to that angle. This is it. This is the thing you want to do. To dictate what gets cut, use the icons in the upper left corner. The film strip cuts video, the waveform cuts sound, and the icon with the film strip plus a waveform will cut both at the same time. Generally, multicam edits are done on clips that have one master audio source. Keep the film strip icon selected so you're only cutting between video sources and you leave that audio alone. You can cut between cameras during playback with the mouse or by using keyboard shortcuts. And this is where you get your hands dirty. Experiment. You're not going to break anything. Mark in, mark out, drop the thing in your timeline, change the camera angles. 
And that's Final Cut 10 Multicam in under five minutes. We covered a lot of ground. I'm sure I missed stuff. Let me know in the comments, and I can fill you in on anything that's not there. If you want more videos made of more stuff, tell me. I want to make more. You want to watch more. Everybody wins.